Hey guys, Mick here. So we just started our Simpson Desert trip, myself and Pete. Yeah, this is our campsite for the night. Eight hours drive today, very tired. Gonna get a fire going, get some food on, a few drinks and um, yeah, get some rest and chill. And we'll be back on tomorrow. And hopefully tomorrow we'll make our way out to Cooper PD and by William Creek, I believe. I think that's where we're heading, so. Love the flies, they're amazing. So, Willing Creek, yeah, Udnadatta, out to Marla, then across to the Northern Territory. So, I'll keep you guys informed uh, when we get to some interesting stuff. Breakfast time. Some yeah. uh, bacon and what are we having? Bacon, bacon and egg mu mu uh, muffins. Bacon and egg muffins, that's what we're having. So, get that cranking. Fires going there. Starting to warm up, everything's starting to dry out. It's going to be good. So, we'll uh, back to you after we're eating. So, I've just discovered a bit of a wreck down the back here, so we're going to go check it out and uh, see what it is. Just spotted it from the campsite, so, go for a bit of a bush bash. Oh, oh, ice or something? Yeah, I don't know. Or something along those lines. a bit windy. straight in the leg. I'll flip it around, show where we're going. Yeah, I reckon it's a combi, hey. You reckon it's a combi? Fully employed. Someone's been shooting at it. Combi, yeah? Yeah, or comma or something, whatever. Yeah, Volkswagen combi. I reckon, maybe. No, it's not a combi. Not a combi? ID plates. Yeah, she's an old Bedford or something. Bedford or something, yeah. Bedford Thames, comma. Englishman. There you go. The things you see when you're out bush. Nothing to salvage. Nah. <laughs> Not even the metal, she's gone. Yeah. Yeah, she's naked. Well, there you go. Oh, we could check that one out. Any identification? Was something on the back door here? Yeah, that'd be right, just there. sign writing. Sign writing of some like description. Six or something. Yeah. Might have been his phone number. Lucas. Lucas or Lucas is old. England. Ah, oh, it is. That's British then. So she'll be a Thames or something. Okay. There you go. Well, something different. Thames trader. Oh. Really. Okay. Oh, there you go, guys. Saw that from the campsite this morning. Got in late last night, didn't bother looking around, so. So there you go. Something weird and wonderful in the bush. check it out. It's on the William Creek Road heading to William Creek. 
so it's pretty corrugated and everything so yeah we've just kind of let the tires down drop the pressures make it a bit more smooth and not damage anything in the vehicles but yeah let's go check out these abandoned cars what is it oh Real old, isn't it? It's an ancient. Uh, that's pretty old. That's what we've been going. Alright. Just what this low what it is. No ID, no nothing. What, old Ford maybe? Uh, kind of hard to tell. If you went a full symbol of petrol. Okay. So if anyone knows what that vehicle is, post it in the comments down below. Be interested to see what it is. So we found the rest stop, and we're just trying to find the actual flat piece of land to have a campfire in. I reckon you need to go that way. Block we had last night, and I need to come across here. Or up there a bit more. Yeah. Yeah. If you go that way, I might put, we might move this bit of tin, and I reckon that's yeah, flat there. Yeah, yeah. All right. So this is the campsite. This one of the rest areas. So we set up here. It's quite nice. And we got an old windmill over here and behind this tree, it's kind of hard to see. Alright guys, so camp's all set up. Just Hi. waiting for the coals to come down. And we're going to put on some burgers. Awesome. So yeah, I'll show you the campsite and the setup. I don't have my awning out tonight. Didn't do it last night either, but Pete's got his out. So yeah, I'll flick around and I'll show you his setup. I'll show you mine. <laughs> Pretty simple. And uh, yeah, there we go.
day two done and dusted on to day three we're about three quarters of the way or maybe not three quarters about half the way up the Uden data track um, flies are relentless beautiful campsite though as you'll see in the video um, just had breakfast finishing off my coffee gonna pack down and yeah and that, that'll be a good bit of way to go all right so i've just come out to the peak ruins to check that out and it's very corrugated almost lost my wood load on the roof so it's going to retie it all down again um, yeah let's go check it out see what it looks like Yeah, I'd say it's pretty ruined. Hey. It's pretty ruined. Oh yes, but you can see what it was like. Yeah. How yeah, they built it, just with stone. Oh, it's pretty cool. A bit of water in between. I suppose that'd be sand and cement, but you know. That's going to be a big job. Oh, for sure. In fact, it's all come down like that as well, just storms and stuff, I guess. So. Peak Telegraph Repeater Station. You guys want to pause on that one and read it? So 1870. 3200 Telegraph Line from Port Augusta to Port Darwin. Yeah. Okay. Wow. So the peak station was the furthest outpost of sediment in South yeah, Australia. Okay. There we go. Cool. Yeah, there's a how well have we seen, but that's a long telegraph, isn't it? Yeah. So it goes right from up here, yeah, all the way, way, down, yeah. way down to Murray, oh, down Lee Creek. Here. This is yeah. here. This is that spot there. Yes, is. Yeah. That's a telegraph line for anyone from the col anyone watching for colonies from Australia, starting Darwin, all the way down to Adelaide, which is where we've come from. We're about here right now. All right, cool. Let's go for a walk up here, I guess. See if there's no snakes. from the original telegraph line back. Smelt it and mine walks that way. So this is an actual settlement. Alright. Who likes camels? Yeah. Shivers. Where are we? We're here. Yeah. This is springs down here. Yeah. It's a mine site way up that way. Yeah, we must 
be okay yeah parked here yeah so then there's a kitchen here yeah to be a store and main house men's hut there's some more springs over here yeah jesus that's what we came through before yep this will be the stock that's when it's not all those flowers and stuff sprouting up that's where yeah. the spring was because yeah. they didn't fed the water all right cool that's the well holy shit are you feeling thirsty? There's water there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Are, you, are you feeling thirsty? Yeah. So I reckon yeah, yeah. There's a bucket there too, look at that. Got a bucket to see you guys. Bucket. This is the old well. Must have forged all their own steel. Yeah. Furnace, though. The boiler room? Yeah, well, a pipe through there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And there's a. Oh, yeah. Clark and Company, eight gallons. Old school. Not too much at the moment. Nah. We're coming that way. Yeah, probably. This is the entrance. Yeah, the timbers. Cool. The window. Window frames. Yeah. yeah. All wooden. It's pretty. So this is the old telegraph repeater station, office and residence, 1872. Let's go have a look inside. A residence as well. Just one, mm -hmm. one chimney. Yep. Cool. Still standing after this amount of time. Exactly. There's another chimney there. So we've got two chimneys? Yeah. yeah. Two. Okay, cool. Yeah, two chimneys all. Unfortunately people like to engrave stuff on things. Hey. People engraving. Yeah. What have we got here? Yes. Clem Stockle, Prospector. 1966. USA. Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Baza Warren, 2016. Something's been, been bricked up there. Yeah, it would have been a window, I reckon. So, so. Yeah. Hmm. Very cool. They look pretty rugged. Looks like they might have cut some of their stones. Or yeah, they would have just chiseled them probably, mm -hmm. back in the day. Make them fit, whatever. Yeah. Imagine if you stuffed it up, you have to do another one. <laughs> I don't know, there was some muddy shit. Oh, yeah, we're getting the other side here too. Nice. I think there's a lot of body uh, mortar in there. So oh, yeah. yeah. Cool. Cool. So that's what was bricked up, so the room. Maybe it wasn't used. Yeah. Jesus. Fancy putting that rubble back together. Yeah, no thanks. No. You can do that. No thanks. <laughs> so what's this one say over here? 1860s. Oh, 
Yeah. This one. Really square. Maybe that's where they send things in. I don't know. Maybe it was kept so it was like a, almost like a cold room type field. I don't know. Probably. Yeah, it must have been a pipe down. Oh. Maybe it was. Don't know. Don't know. Couldn't tell you. Normal these days, two bedrooms. There'll be one there and one there, and main bedroom and kids' room. Yeah. Dining room, kitchen. That's all you needed. Yeah, pretty much. Not where the bathroom was, but <laughs> who knows? Yeah. Cool. Maybe they didn't have one. I think it was outside somewhere. Outside, morning. go dig a hole like we have to. Well, we had a pub, didn't we? <laughs> they have a pub out here.